Hi, this is Pasty's World of ICT, and today we're having a look at some sample PowerPoint animations. Now, this first one we're looking at involves the old Teletubbies. Now, click on Poe to begin. Well, we have to know which Teletubbies Poe are. No, the purple one was Tinky Winky. Poe was the red guy. So we click on them. Hey there, guys, I'm looking for my scooter. Can you please help me find it? Well, we can say no thank you and be nasty or we can go back and try again. Alright, so as part of the design brief for this assignment, students have to have decision boxes like this which can branch the path of the story. So there must be decision boxes with clickable hyperlinks. Alright, now the Teletubbies are nice guys, so let's help them out to find this scooter, of course. Great, thanks, let's go. And off we go with a frame-by-frame -frame animation. Who's hiding behind the windmill? This is a really nice frame-by-frame -frame animation here, where um, Dipsy comes out from behind the windmill. Hey Dipsy, have you seen my scooter? Well, let's be nice and say yes. Oh yay, can you tell me where it is? And again, some nice frame-by-frame -frame animation work there. And we come along, and hey, we're going to meet up with the other guys. Helping Poe to find his scooter. Okay, would um, the purple guy, Tinky Winky, like to help? Well, yes, of course he would. And so off they go. Now I double click something there, so I got to go back. I'm not sure what happened there. Alright, off the guys go. Teletubbies, the Teletubbies. I'm missing one guy though, there were four of them weren't there. Oh Poe, is that your scooter behind the tree? Oh yes it is. And Poe's a happy guy because he's got his scooter. Thanks for helping so much. That's right, that yellow guy, I don't know his name, but he didn't feature in the presentation a lot. Alright, so let's have a look at some other ones here. Here's one called Mario May, so we'll have a look at that. With um, Mario Maze. Help Mario save the Princess Peach. Click on Luigi. So that's this green guy. We'll click on him to start the game. Ow, he didn't like that. Alright, so this one's very clever. Um, Hello, it's a me, a Mario. Bowser's kidnapped the princess again and I need your help. Click on the arrow. So again, hyperlinks, which they must use as part of the assignment. And they must use a minimum of 30 slides. This is one of the biggest ones. I think this one's about 120 slides long, um, which was very big. You don't have to do that much work. All right, click on the arrow. And we come around the other side of the maze. Before we turn into a llama. Here's a Mario. What's going on in here? It looks like the girl's in trouble. So we click on the witch to save the girl. And... Mario gets away with the witch and takes care of that situation. Gee whiz, thanks for saving me. I'm Goombella. Oh, that was a bit fast for me to read. Um, should we help her, yes or no? Let's say no. You meanie. So that wasn't nice to say no, and Goombella fixes us up. Okay, it's not over yet, so we can click the mushroom, and that'll hyperlink us back into the slideshow, so we can make a much better choice of saying yes, and we will help the girl this time. Okay, Gumbella, I'll help you out. Thanks, Amario. Alright, so this one goes for a very long time, <coughs> a very involved adventure traveling through the maze with um, decision points, a three-way one in this case, which way should path which should we follow to go looking, and um, was an excellent PowerPoint. Alright, we'll just uh, close that one down and close down the other one. Okay, we'll have a look at uh, maybe one more. Um, TV shows, uh, cartoons, very popular for this. Pooh's Quest for some honey. So you can see this was a good effort. This was a 46 slide slideshow um, with a good story. So from the beginning, Pooh's Quest for some honey.
So some nice little effects there um, with the introduction. Oh, no more honey again. Okay. Oh, hello everybody. It seems I'm out of honey again. If you want to help me, click on my front door. So we've got the rectangle drawn there in the front door. We click on it and in we go to Pooh's house. There might be some in the kitchen cupboard. So let's click on the table to go to the kitchen. It smells yummy in here. Maybe there's some honey in the cupboard. So over on these cupboards we've got some uh, hyperlinks on the door. So we click on the door in we go. That's an empty honey pot. Maybe Christopher Robin has some honey. Click on the back door to go to Christopher Robin's house. Alright, so you can see the hand appears on the back door, so there's an invisible shape drawn on that door to make the hyperlink. Off to Christopher Robin's house for some honey. And oh, here comes Tigger bouncing along. What are you doing today? Going to Chris Robinson's house to get some honey. Ho ho ho, I know a shortcut, come with me. Take Tigger's shortcut, should we take it, yes or no? Nah, we don't need his help, we'll be okay. No thanks, Tigger. And off we go, ooh, into the deep dark forest. Oh no, I'm lost, I better go back to Tigger. So we click, and go back to Tigger, and off we go to the shortcut with Tigger. Alright, and Tigger's going to take us along, and this is really cool because they've got a map drawn here with hyperlinks, and so you can click on different places to go to um, different parts of the story. And a very nice frame-by-frame -frame animation there which shows us the way we should go to get to Christopher Robinson's house. And uh, here we go, I told you, because we're here now. Hi Pooh, hi Christopher Robinson, have you got some honey? Yes, Pooh, I thought I'd, you'd run out. Oh, thank you, Christopher. Ta-ta for now. Alright, so... Here's your honey. Thank you, Christopher Robin. Time to go for some more honey. Okay, so there was another thing with the... Um, with the talking um, points on the slide the speech bubbles. Another thing was that they needed to have one person talk then that dissolves and disappears with a exit effect and then the other one reappears so it looks like there's actual talking and you could see that happening in that animation. Alright so um, that's it for now from Pasty's World of ICT PowerPoint animations they're really good fun and uh, students just absolutely love them to death let me tell you.